Good afternoon, dear students. The topic of the lecture, major human parasitic diseases. Lecture plan. The main characteristics of the organization of representatives of protozoa. Sporozoa is the pathogens of the most important protozoosis of human. Human hemophysis, morphophysiological features of flatworms, apistorchizes. The most common types uh, of uh, cystogizes, for example, echinococcosis and uh, diaphilobotriasis. The main progressive features of the organization of uh, representatives of roundworms. And the next one, the main human nematodosis. There are a lot of parasitic diseases in the world. They are the cause of delay in mental and physical children development, reduce the working capacity of adults, cause allergization of the body of an affected person, reduce the resistance to infectious and somatic diseases, reduce the effectiveness of vaccination. As you remember, there are the following groups of parasitic diseases. Protozoosis, which caused by protozoa. Hilmensosis, caused by pathological hermines. Entomosis, the diseases caused by arachnids and insects. Today we will speak about two first groups, protozoosis and hilmensosis. So, protozoosis are diseases are caused by parasitic protozoa. The individuals of this type can be ectoparasites as well as endoparasites. Then they enter to human body, they have a mechanical, toxic, allergic effect, destroy cells, tissues and organs. The representatives of type protozoa are unicellular animals. In morphological terms, the protozoa organisms are cells. But in physiological terms, they are complete, independent organisms. The main characteristics of the organization of protozoa are Microscope dimensions The next one, devices for penetration into cells, tissues and organs. Simplifying structure The presence of several life forms in the developmental cycle. The next one Complex life cycle in which they use various living organisms as a habitat and a food source. Alternation of sexual and asexual reproduction during the life cycle. And the next one, the ability to form cysts. The most severe human protozoosis are caused by representatives of the class which called sporozoa. All of species of unicellular animals of this class are human and animal parasites. There is an intracellular parasitism. Sporozoa, as representatives of type protozoa, have the same features. They have simplified structure, difficult life cycles with many life forms, with alternation of sexual and asexual reproduction. At a certain stage of development, they form spores. The example of sporozoa is Texaplasma gondii. The taxonomic classification of this representative is type protozoa, class sporozoa, order coccidia, species Texaplasma gondii. The morphological features are Texaplasma endozoids have the shape of an orange lobule uh, from 4 to 7 microns long. The anterior end of the cell is narrowed as a conoid. From the conoid, tubes extend into the body, ending in sac-like extensions. They are called ropti. They contain substances that facilitated the penetration of the parasite into the host cells. Toxoplasma also has another vital organoids, core, mitochondria, microspore, ed, etc. Cycle of development Toxoplasma gondii, you see on the screen. So, there are two stages in the life cycle of Toxoplasma – intestinal and extra-intestinal tissue stage. The definitive hosts are representative of felina, domestic cats more often. In definitive host, body the intestinal phase occurs. 
After a definitive host infection in intestinal cells, the schizogony occurs. This phase includes a gametogony, fertilization, and oocyst formation. Oocysts are released with the cat feces into the external environment. Inside the oocyst, the process of sporogony or the formation of sporozoids occurs. The intermediate hosts are rodents, human, and other mammals. In intermediate host body, the extra-intestinal tissue stage occurs only. Human can be infected from definitive host as well as intermediate host. There are three options of human infection. Directly from the cat by oocyst in case of non-compliance with the rules of personal hygiene. Elementary. When eating raw meat and chicken minced meat, raw chicken eggs, unboiled milk. And uh, the next one, transplacental, from mother to embryo. There are many clinical symptoms of toxoplasmosis because cells of almost all tissues are affected. Liver, muscles, spleen, lymph nodes, nerve system, and etc. This is explained by the different localization of the parasite. The asymptomatic carrier is more often than chronic and acute toxoplasmosis. With the transplacental infection is congenital toxoplasmosis. There are four factors contributing to the spread of toxoplasmosis. At first, a wide range of intermediate host. Secondly, the ability of the intermediate host to infect from intermediate, intermediate from definitive, definitive from intermediate. And the next one, the ability of the parasite of reproduce sexually and asexually. An intracellular form of parasitism. And the next one, the ability to infect cells of almost all tissues and organs of <coughs> vertebrates. For diagnostic of toxoplasmosis, the parasitological and immune methods are used. The next representatives of protozoa are individuals of class Sporozoa or the Hemosporidia. There are five species of plasmodium, which are the parasites for human. Plasmodium vivax, the pathogen of three-day malaria. Plasmodium malaria. Uh, the pathogen of four-day malaria, plasmodium falciparum, uh, the pathogen of tropical malaria, plasmodium ovale, the pathogen of type of three-day malaria, and plasmodium nalsi. Uh, it is the pathogen of malaria of macaca fasticularis, but it can be cause of malaria of human. Malaria is an anthropognosis. It is widespread everywhere, especially often in countries with tropical and subtropical climates. Let's speak about life cycle of plasmodium. The definitive host is uh, female malaria mosquito anopheles. The intermediate host is human. The right of infection is inoculation, so the parasite enters to the human body with a bite. There are four stages of parasite development. The first stage is pre-erythrocyte cycle. It occurs in hepatocytes, liver cells, during one to two weeks. Sporozoids from the bloodstream enter into hepatocytes. In hepatocytes, plasmodium grows and after that divides by schizogony. This is a tissue schizogony. From one sporozoid entering to hepatocytes from 2,000 to 40,000 uh, merozoids form. The liver cells destroy and the parasites enter to the bloodstream and enter into erythrocytes. The intraerythrocyte cycle begins. In erythrocyte, plasmodium grows and divides by schizogony. The development of plasmodium, vivox, ovale, falciparum occurs during 48 hours. Of plasmodium malaria during 70 uh, hours and plasmodium nalsi during 24 hours. After that, erythrocytes destroy merozoids and parasite waste products enter the bloodstream. This is a 
uh, accompanied by an attack of fever. Immediately after release, the nerozoids are introduced into new red blood cells. After several intraerythrocyte cycles, uh, gametocytogonia, formation of sexual form occurs. Some nerozoids entering into erythrocytes turn into immature sexual forms. They are called gamons. In the mosquito female body, the following processes occur. Gametogony, micro and macro gamete formation. Sporogony, formation of zygotes, alkinets, osseous, and division of osseous with the formation of sporozoids. The parasite development in mosquito body during from one to three weeks occurs. The major sporozoids enter the salivary gland, glands of the female mosquito and infect human with a bite. The clinical symptoms of malaria are the periodic effects of fever, temperature rise to 38 uh, to 41 degrees. The duration of seizures is one average uh, from 6 uh, to 12 hours. The most uh, malignant type is tropical malaria, characterized by the most intense uh, um, intoxication and damage of the blood vessels of the brain. For diagnostic of malaria, the microscope method is used. In erythrocytes of peripheral blood perform detection of endoerythrocytic stages of malarial plasmodium development. The diagnostic signs of endoerythrocytic stages of malaria plasmodium development you can see on the screen. The next point of lecture is human helminthosis. These diseases are very relevant in the world. Reasons for the increase in the incidence of hermenthic infection are the deteriorating environmental situation, increased population migration, increased human contact with animals, for example, domestic animals. Helminthosis is a large group of parasitic diseases caused by parasitic worms. There are major groups of human helminthosis. At first, geothelminthosis are diseases the pathogens of which develop in the environment without the participation of an intermediate host and that transmitted to humans through the elements of the environment. Secondly, biohelminthosis are diseases whose pathogens develop with the participation of intermediate hosts and are transmitted to humans through their tissues or other transmission factors. And the next one, contact helminthosis, are diseases the causative agents of which can be transmitted directly from one person to another without the participation of intermediate hosts. There are a lot of pathogenic effects of helminths on the human body. For example, mechanical impact, toxic allergic effects. They use nutrients from the human body, for example, proteins, vitamins, microelements. The next one, migration of helminths and their lower disrupts the normal function of vital organs contribute to the chronic and lengthening of the duration of diseases, which are uh, combined with them. Against the background of helminthosis, a protective level of immunity after vaccination is not achieved. Most human helminthosis is caused by representatives of the platform, flatworm type and the roundworm type. Let's speak about type flat worms. There are four common characteristics of the organization of these individuals. The body is flattened in the dorsal abdominal direction. They develop from three germ layers. They have bilateral symmetry. The body is encased in a skin muscle back. There is no body cavity. 
The space between the organs is filled with uh, parenchyme. There are systems of organs, digestive, developed not in all types, proliferate, uh, proteinifredia type, nervous, sexual, uh, hermaphrodites. The senses are poorly developed. Have complex development cycles with a, a multiple normal stage and change of hosts. There are three classes of type flatworms. Turbillaria, trematodosis, and testoidea. Representatives of trematodus and testoidea have a medical value. Well, let's study a class trematodus and species Apistorchis philineus. This is the pathogen of Apistorchisis. The morphological features are the parasite body is left shaped has length uh, from um, 13 to um, 15 millimeters. Two suction cups for fixing. Egg size is 26 to 30 microns, have a lead. Cycle of development of, of Apistorchis phalaneus. The definitive hosts are human and other mammals. The first intermediate host is clam. Uh, Bettinia lychee. The second intermediate host is fish. In the definitive host body, the parasite eggs enter the intestine through the bile ducts and are carried out with uh, feces. The egg must enter the water for further development. The egg is swallowed by a mollusk, in which body from the egg comes the miracidium. After that, the parasite um, passes through a number of stages sporocyst, radia, circaria. Circaria leave the mollusk and enter the body of the second intermediate host, fish, where they turn into metacircaria. It is localized in the subcutaneous tissue or muscles, which are invasive for the definitive host. A human becomes infected when eating low salted, slightly dried, insufficiently hydrated or raw fish. After months, the low reach sexual maturity. The clinical symptoms caused by dystrophic and necrobiotic processes in the liver. If apistrochisis has a long cause, there is cancer of the bile ducts and hepatocarcinoma or cirrhosis. For diagnostic of apistrochisis, the parasitological and immune methods are used. The parasitological method is detection of eggs in mirrors of duodenal contents and feces during microscopy. The immune method is enzyme immunase. The next representatives of type flatworms are individuals of class Testaidea, for example, species Echinococcus granulosus. It is the pathogen of Echinococcosis. The morphological characteristics are Parasite body has length uh, from 3 to 6 mm, ascolix with 4 uh, suckers and uh, proboscis with hooks. It is characterized by the presence um, of uh, 3 to 4 segments of different degrees of maturity. The um, penultimate segment is hermaphrodite. The major segment, the last one, is the longest and widest, is about half the length of the body, contains a closed uterus with lateral outgrowth. The isolated segments can actively move around. Life cycle of Echinococcus granulosus. The definitive hosts are animals, for example, domestic dogs, wolves, lynx, in which body the parasite lives. The intermediate hosts are mammals, cattle, pigs, camels, deer, sheep, and also humans. Mature segments actively crawl out of the anus of the definitive host, spread the eggs on the host's coat and in the environment. They can be swallowed 
by the intermediate hosts. From the eggs of Echinococcus ingested by the uh, intermediate host in the stomach and uh, intestines, oncospheres are released. They are penetrate through the intestinal into the bloodstream and lymphatic vessels. Through the portal vein, the oncosphere enter the liver. 70% of oncospheres are retained in the liver, 15% in the lungs. The rest affect the brain, uh, tubular bones, and etc. organs. The oncosphere turns into fina. The fina is a bubble with a toxic fluid. It increases by uh, 2 uh, to 3 centimeters per year. With a spontaneous rupture of the cyst, scolexes fall on the surround tissues and into the abdominal and pleural cavities with the contamination of the pleura, peritoneum, and abdominal organs. The infection of the human occurs as a result of entering the Hinococcus eggs by the close contact with the infected, infected dogs, on the coat of which there are human's eggs, as well as when eating foods, raw vegetables, berries seeded with the Echinococcus eggs. There are four Echinococcus stages. 1. Asymptomic from the moment of introduction into the tissue or the oncosphere to the appearance of clinical signs. 2. The stage of clinical manifestations is due to the appearance of large size cyst in organs. And 3. Ending. Complications of hinacocosis, perforation, a break through cysts in the hollow organs and cavities of the body, bowel obstruction, etc. Possible lethal outcome in this phase. For diagnostic of hinacocosis, the enzyme immunity, X ray uh, analysis, uh, angiography, scanning, ultrasonic examination, computed tomography of different organs are used. Well, let's study the morphological features and life cycle of another individual of Cystaida. The broad tapeworm, Diphilobotrium latum. This is a pathogen of diphilobotriosis, and this is one of the largest human parasites. His length is about 15 to 20 meters. The scolex with a size of 3 to 5 millimeters has two longitudinal um, section slits, botria. The non-segmented narrow neck reaches um, 10 mm in length. Strabilla consists of um, 3 to 4,000 short and wide uh, proglodytes. This parasite has a hermaphrodite sexual system. Eggs of a broad tapeworm uh, with a size of um, 75 micros, microns, gray or yellow fish. Uh, color trematoid type. Life cycle of the Pilobotrium latum. The definitive hosts are human and other mammals. The first intermediate hosts are cyclops or diaptomus. The second intermediate host is fish. The parasite eggs with definitive host, feces and the water. The first lower stage is crocidium. It emerges from the egg. Crocidium with the help of the cilia floats in the water. Cyclops or diaptomus, small wind floating crocids. In the intestine of the um, intermediate host, the crocidium sheds cilia, the oncosphere leaves it, and penetrates with the help of hooks through the intestinal into the body cavity. Here, the oncosphere turns into a procircoid fina. Fish is the second intermediate host. Cyclops is digested. The prosercoids swallowed by it um, invade mainly the trunk muscles and internal organs of fish. After three to four weeks, the prosercoids turn into the last lobal stage, a pleurocercoid. 
It is warm like lava of white color, about 6 mm long. At the front end, there are two suction slits. The infection of human occurs after eating invasive uh, thermal, um, thermally um, sufficiently treated uh, or um, unsalted fish and caviar. Diphilobotrium latum has mechanical impact and toxic allergic effects. Sometimes atrophy and necrotization of intestine occur. Maybe dynamic or obstructive bowel obstruction. There is often megaloblastic anemia. For diagnostic of uh, diphalobotriasis, the parasitological and immune methods are used. The next point of lecture is the main progressive features of organization of the representatives of roundworms. The characteristics of organization of roundworms, nemocell meters, are on the screen. The presence of the primary body cavity. The presence of posterior intestine of the ectodermal origin in the digestive system. Expressed sexual diamorphism. Females are uh, significantly different from males. The representatives of class Nematoda have several features. They have a round, long, uh, um, elongated body. In cross section is a circle. The size vary widely. The body is uh, carried with the skin muscle sac, which consists of um, cuticle, uh, um, hypodermis, and muscle cells. The next one, the digestive system, is well developed, consists of three parts anterior, middle, and posterior ends with the anus. The excretory system is represented in nematodas by two types of formations unicellular glands or ren nets from which there are long channels. The metabolites are also removed by special phagocytic cells, the number of which varies from uh, 2 to 6. The nervous system of roundworms is represented by a near pharyngeal nerve ring, from which the longitudinal nerve trunks in the amount of um, 8 to 12 depart. This nervous system is called orthogonal. The sexual system. Sexual dimorphism is expressed. The genitals are represented by a system of different tubes. The female sexual system is paired. Uh, the male sexual system is unpaired. The development of round worms is carried out with the metamorphosis. The transition from one stage to another is accompanied by molting. And the next one, the lower of most nematodes migrate, so move through certain organs of the host. Depending on the features of the development cycle of round worms, they are classified into two groups. One, geohelmins, and two, biohelmins. Let's speak about representatives of geohelmins, about human ascarids, Ascaris lumbricoides. Ascaris lumbricoides is a pathogen of ascaridosis. The morphological features of human ascarids are the same as the representative of class Nematoda. It is a large spin, um, spindle-shaped worm with a round cross-section. The female has a size of 20 to um, 40 centimeters. The size of the male is 15 to 20 centimeters. The main path of infection is elementary. Infection of people with ascaridosis occurs when eating fruits, vegetables, garden greens and contaminated with invasive ascarid eggs. The lower enter into bloodstream from parasite eggs through human intestine and make migration. The enter to intestinal veins, enter the portal vein, the little veins, and through the large venous trunks into the inferior vena cava. 
along the inferior vein cavern, the lower and to the right atrium and through the pulmonary artery into entry to the capillaries of the alveoli. Then the lower is sent through the respiratory tract into the pharynx and to the mouth as walled a second time and end up in the intestine. The lower migration lasts from uh, 9 to 12 days. Fertilized uh, females secret eggs. They can develop in the environment in the soil. The egg becomes invasive after the lava formed in its molds. The clinical symptoms occur as a result of migration of lava and the waste products in the bloodstream. It can lead to toxic allergic reactions. Sometimes obstructive bowel obstruction occurs. For diagnostics uh, of ascaridosis, the parasitological uh, detection of lova in um, sputum and eggs in the feces, immune methods, X-ray analysis are used. The another species of Nematoda is Trichinella spiralis. It is a pathogen of uh, trichinosis. Trichinella has a typical uh, nematode structure. The female uh, trichinella has a size of 3 to 4 mm and the male has length of uh, 1 to 2 mm. The parasite's body tapers evenly anteriorly. Life cycle is carried out using a definitive and intermediate host, which can be a single individual. There are two types of focuses with circulation of parasite. The first focuses are supported by wild animals, wolves, bears, foxes, lynxes, rodents, and others. The second focuses are supported by domestic animals and some rodents. The circulation of pathogens in these focuses occurs independently. The infection of these hosts occurs with eating of animal meat containing uh, encapsulated trichinella lower. The human is often infected with eating pork and meat of the wild animals, but have not passed uh, veterinary control. Invasive lower in the intestinal lumen are released from the surrounding tissues and reach sexual maturity within three days. Fertilized females attach the head and or the body to the mucosa. The female products um, uh, produced um, are lower that enter the intestinal human. Lower penetrate through the intestinal into the lymphatic vessels, the circulatory system, and localized in various organs. Finally, trichinella spiralis localizes uh, in the striated musculature. At the third week, the lower fold into a spiral around which a connective tissue capsule is formed for uh, two uh, to three months, the walls of which germinate with blood vessels and nerves. With blood, the parasite receives the necessary nutrients and oxygen and also with its help removes the products of the lower metabolism. From the sixth month, uh, calcification, calcification of the capsules is observed. At the same time, the lower retains their viability. The clinical symptoms are Puffiness of ear lids of the face, neck, trunk, and limbs. Such symptoms are caused by a strong allergic reaction on the part of the person. At the same time, a fever develops. The patient is uh, considered about pain in the eye, uh, chewing, and neck muscles. Trichinosis is accompanied by a disorder of the gastrointestinal tract, diarrhea, abdominal pain, vomiting. There is insomnia, headache, depression, or agitation, hallucinations. 
With the formation of a capsule around the lower, the patient is uh, disturbed by pain in the affected muscles. For diagnostic of uh, trichinosis, uh, the enzyme immunoassay is used. Also, the muscle biopsy and microscopy of biopsy uh, specimens is used. Thank you for your attention.